clicked on this video I assume you're interested in getting a Camaro before any of you go ahead and buy a Camaro I just want to say that I would absolutely not recommend certain years of the Camaro 6th gen right and that is 2016 2017 and 2018 now I have three reasons why I say that guys and the first reason has to do with updates that they made in later versions of the Camaro. So one of the biggest ones was to help with blind spot monitoring, right? So from the Camaro 2019 and up, right here in the mirror, right? Uh, there's a camera on the back that the mirror can basically show you, um, you know, what's what's what the camera is seeing back there, right? If you look back at the window here, the visibility of that back window is so small and this camera that is mounted on the shark fin on the, at the top, uh, basically the, where the antenna is, that helps a lot with the visibility. I'm actually surprised that the camera is actually HD, guys. The screen is very vibrant, very clear. You know, I can zoom in on there. I can see people's faces right in their car. Um, it's an amazing feature they actually added in the 2019 and now. The second reason, guys, why I do not recommend the 2016 to 2018 Camaro, guys, is because of the radio in there i'm specifically talking about the software so i had a 2017 camaro ss most of you know this but if you're new to my channel i did have that car it got totaled and now i'm in this car which is a 2021 camaro zl1 so i had a lot of fun with my 2017 ss man but the software um, seemed very glitchy. Sometimes the screen would just black out or freeze. Sometimes turning the car off and on again doesn't even fix it, guys. And I had to take out my battery, uh, negative cable, you know, pull it for about like a minute and then put it back. So um, I'm not too sure what was going on with the software in mine. Maybe it did need an update. Um, I'm not too sure, but I, I was never prompted to do the update. Um, I think some people told me I have to connect to the Wi-Fi to do that. So maybe that is a possible solution for this problem, guys. But the third thing, which is something that I find that I feel like there just wasn't a solution to it because I tried the solution and it didn't work. So the third thing was the transmission, right? The eight speed automatic transmission in that car. like. Bro, I'm thinking about it and it's giving me a headache. So most of you already know the stories or you've seen the, my previous videos on this, but that eight speed automatic transmission from GM, I'm sorry, the transmission is trash, guys. I praised the eight speed a lot after I initially got the fix for the transmission problems. Um, you know, like shuddering, very jerky, like after changing the, the you know, the, the fluid or whatever fixes they did, you know, it, it ran fine for a while, so I was praising the 8-speed automatic for a pretty good amount of time. But the issue just ended up, you know, coming back again. So, you know, man, um, it was kind of disappointing. And then, you know, I had, um, I don't think I ever made a video on this, but my shifter eventually, um, like some bearings got loose. So the shifter um, got loose in there. Um, I think, I don't, I'm not too sure how that happened or I didn't even know that was possible. So between the solution that they made to the blind spot guys from 2019 and up um, to the radio updates, um, the whole software is actually different on the radio and that eight speed automatic transmission issue guys. I'm sorry, but I cannot in my right mind recommend that anybody get a 2016, 2017 or 2018 Camaro with the eight speed automatic transmission, man. Um, you can of course get the manual and you know, the other two issues I mentioned, you know, if you can get past that, um, you know, uh, go for it. It's other than that, it's been, it's been a good car, my 2017 Camaro SS. So yeah, um, hopefully this video is helpful for anyone who uh, may be considering um, a Camaro in those years. But yeah, that was my experience, man. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. But for now, getting back to the 2021 Z01, man. <laughs> I love that I need my camera, man. 